Hello, welcome to Lady Lay Tarot. Today's reading, we're going to take a look at what's going on with Diddy, Sean Combs, some questions that are coming to my mind. I'm gonna try to make this a brief reading about some questions that I have. Maybe there'll be a part two for this. If you have any more questions, we're gonna try to take a look at what Diddy's thinking right now as of November, 2024, what's going on with him. And we'll also take a look at what Spirit says regarding did he unalive Kim Porter. And also we're going to take a look at predictions there are for the court case, the upcoming court case. And will he make it to court? Okay, so Spirit, I ask you to come through with what will happen and um, allow us to see. So first off, I'm going to start with how Diddy is feeling inside prison is he still hopeful that he'll make bail or he'll get out of this or um does he understand the gravity of his actions does he feel any regret or not what does he feel right now as of november um 17th i believe um, 2024 okay so let's see what cards are coming through for diddy's feelings as of november 2024 Take one from the tea leaf deck and also one more card and see his feelings and what he's planning. Okay, so first out we have wisdom. He's definitely having a lot of time on the inside to think. Ten of Swords. It's like this Diddy Dunn sentiment um, where he feels that the end is near, but with the fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business, he feels that he could still negotiate something if he is smarter or if he uses his wiles, his cunning more. He's um, right in, on the inside trying to think of ways to make the end not near. So he still feels like he, he could have some tricks up his sleeve. And he just has to be smarter and think in terms of business, what they can offer the businessmen, what his team could offer these guys for their protection of Diddy, for them to make this case go away or for him to at least get out. We have criticism, we have authority. Uh, right now he's blaming the system. He's blaming the, um, we have the Illuminati symbol here for putting him in this mess. And um, we have uh, the harp here. He feels like they were the one that were pulling the strings that um, orchestrated this whole event and that they are happy at his expense. And so he feels like he's been done wrong by these people. Then we have uh, the mature man here. He's blaming uh, an older elderly gentleman for his problems. And he's also thinking of ways to strike a deal with this older gentleman to keep him happy and to help him out of this legal wrangle. Then we have the card here, which is the originality card. Yep, we see that fox uh, as well, like his brain is working overtime. He's trying to think of ways to get out of this mess. And by now he assumes that he would still get criticism, get flack for uh, the video footage of Cassie or of um, things that he thinks the public um, the general public know, such as the Cassie thing, um, but he thinks that the deeper things that are going on within the organization that he's a part of can still be explained away. They could be hidden away or attributed to conspiracy. And so if he could just help his organization hide and just do a bit of prison time for like the Cassie debacle and try to plot, not get them to focus on the bigger picture or for example the trafficking or the other things that are tied up to this um, he feels like he still has a chance because he really feels with the ten of swords that otherwise if this whole thing blows open then there'll be no turning back it's like the end so he's trying to uh, be quick with it and um, think of ways to appeal to this authority to change the narrative and the media in the global scale 
you see here, um, to like churn out, for example, uh, positive YouTube videos or positive spins. Mr. Delusional here. Of the entertainment industry as a whole and just attribute, attribute this thing to just one or two occasions of him over partying, being negative or uh, abusive towards an ex-girlfriend. So he's trying to give it this, uh, an ex-girlfriend spin. And he thinks he can appeal to the authority, um, the entertainment industry executive, uh, this mature man, to uh, save him and to just make him look like a, a bad ex, um, an ex-boyfriend, okay? Or someone who just had like, um, was a cheater. You know what I mean? But not a criminal, downright criminal. So those are his thoughts, that he's thinking that he, if he could find a way to spin this and to make this just a domestic violence situation, um, and he has to be on this uh, man's good side who owns uh, a lot of the public favor or who can spin the media, then, um, then this situation can still be turned around if they present it differently to the media. Then with the hedonist, he's definitely eating a lot on the inside, um, more than he's used to eating. Perhaps it's because he's off the uh, D-R-U-G-S right now. So um, he's just more like hungry. And um, I see him like having more appetite for food. And smoking. Okay. And um, with this card, I also want to get a clarifier. But... It could also be that he's remembering his past uh, hedonism. We have with the Queen of Swords card. This is the truth card here. This is the criticism card. And yes, he does uh, criticize himself a bit for his excesses. He thinks he, he shouldn't have been so gaudy or out in the media as he was. So that's the uh, bit of the blame that he is actually attributing to himself, that he went a little overboard with self-promotion. Then we have the Four of Swords. He's uh, also spending a lot of time on the inside sleeping or on uh, trying to get into people's brains on the 5D. Yeah, and so he's just waiting for the, this authority figure, um, the upper echelon people, to step in for him. And uh, it's almost like he's ready for their beating, um, but he thinks if he could just like placate them, and be smart about this and say, yes, you were right. Yes, you were right. That um, they could still pull strings for him if he just shows them how like um, much of a sycophant he is, like how much of a kiss uh, butt he is. Okay, so, but he is uh, a bit starting to judge himself on his, um, on his appetites or on how gaudy and showy he was with what he was showing the public or how much he let slip unknowingly because he was under the effect of um, substances. So he, he's like attributing that to being too open because he's a Scorpio. So generally he would be more private about this type of stuff, keep it more low key underground. But he feels like uh, he made a spectacle of himself with his um, antics over the years. And so he's blaming himself for being like open for show and on show because um, now he feels like it's coming back to bite him. Okay, so um, those are the cards for what he's thinking now on the inside, uh, inside the prison cell, I mean. So um, let's take a look as to his involvement with Kim Porter's um, demise, with her death, if there was involvement. So <clears throat> please, Spirit, share with us Diddy's involvement, if any, with Kim Porter's demise. Show us. What? If any, is there a relationship with Kim Porter's demise and um, Diddy's actions? Okay, so did Diddy have a hand in her death? So first of all, all three cards are resounding yes. Uh, Page of Pentacles, that's a yes. Uh, the Sun, that's a definite yes. And so is the Ace of Wands. And we have idealism. It shows to me that, um, allegedly, of course, uh, that he provided the substances inadvertently to her uh, through her drink. 
I don't know why I'm seeing it as that, but, and um, she wasn't like suspecting it, but you see her holding this glass here. So um, yeah, and the water, the Aquarius sign here. It shows that he, um, Pete the Piper here, he provided her with something that could have been poisonous. That's what I'm seeing here. And this confirms that yes, he directly had something to do definitely with Kim Porter's demise. Now, we're gonna take a look at what's gonna happen with the case. Is he going to make it to trial? Okay, so is he gonna be Epstein um, or is he gonna make it to trial? It's gonna come out, if anything. So let's get uh, first off three cards. This card definitely wanted to come out. And then this card also wanted to come out. Okay. So let's take a look. So please, Spirit, tell us. We have the Judgment card here. We have the Strength card here. We have the Two of Wands card here. So far, show us will be at court. Okay. Let me get some clarifiers. Yeah. Let's get some clarifiers for these cards. So, Spirit, is Diddy going to make it to trial? We have, okay, okay, strength. All right, so it seems like there is a commitment here um, in terms of the, the, the trial will start, okay? The trial will begin, will commence. The bridge shows a next phase. It will be a little bit of a touch and go. Uh, at first, it may seem like he there may be a bit of a hit on him or a beating that he has to endure um, while inside at first. And people may be like, oh, okay, this, this guy's not going to make it to trial. But then we see the bridge uh, successfully overcoming the problem. And uh, with the strength card here showing that, yes, indeed, he shows up to court. And there's media coverage. Like he actually makes an appearance in court. And I see this being um, in the media as, as uh, like testimonies coming out, um, at least from one particular person. And they'll be like, um, in my mind's eye, I'm seeing a sketch of him being done in court. Okay, um, <clears throat> at least initially. But let's take a card for what will happen. What will happen to Diddy as this court case progresses? What will happen? Will he stay alive? Um, of course, uh, Spirit may not want to reveal that to us because, you know, it's a very sensitive, uh, touchy subject and it may influence the future if someone um, that's not meant to watch this watches this, okay? But Spirit, please tell us, is he going to be taken out, uh, whacked before this uh, trial thing concludes or before, yeah, before this trial thing concludes, before he gets sentencing and stuff? Yes or no? So we have nine of pentacles, but we also have the six of swords. So there's some sort of intermissionary, uh, intermission, uh, intermediary period uh, where, for example, like uh, there's initial phase of trial, which lasts a couple of months or a few months. And then when it goes into um, like a waiting stage of some sort or... Um, what they call that in legal jargon. Sorry, it's so late and my mind is a little jumbled. Um, you know how like you get, <clears throat> you hear the case and then you're waiting for the, the jurors um, to decide on things. And um, it could even be a hung jury, but um, not that I'm seeing that, but it's like this waiting period is happening where it's not completely concluded. And um, what happens then? What happens then with, with Diddy? happens at, uh, after this waiting period okay so we have him being put into prison okay all right so that does indicate a sentencing um, happening but it's like a long period of time of wait time and then we have hmm, the richest card here 
Um, so I see him starting to pay back uh, monetarily some fines um, and his assets being seized, his money definitely being spent. Um, okay, and yeah, so it looks like the court will get a hold of his money or there'll be um, an attempt to track his money through the um, chains, through the different countries, like, uh, you know, those countries where they store money, tax havens to avoid paying taxes. So there's going to be an inquiry into that uh, to pay back um, the court fees or even um, a victim. Okay. And then what's going to happen with Diddy? Let's see what's going to happen with Diddy. We have Queen of Pentacles. We have Wheel of Fortune. And we have Eight of Wands. <clears throat> so, some swift action is going to happen. Something that's uh, very unexpected. Swift turn in luck. Mm, like a breakthrough here. Almost like a breakthrough. Something that none of us are expecting or were expecting. So some sort of new claims that are kind of come through from uh, from a woman. That's what I'm seeing here. Or it could be that his mom is going to get indicted as well um, so that she discloses where these where this money is kept. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. And so that's going to be the next break in the case. Then there'll be a, like another court case, another court case. I see like two or three dockets. It's like a never ending thing where now the money, the source of the money or who's holding the money uh, looks like the mother here. The, the female she's going to be a focus and like required to disclose where she's keeping the money or to hand it over um yeah so there's going to be like some swift legal action where more cases are coming through maybe in civil court but you know i see uh spirit here avoiding the question of is he going to ultimately uh be epstein like um, unalived or not it's more about, yes, he will be sentenced and then there'll be some sort of um, action where they're tracking his money and they will have a breakthrough with that where they'll be able to kind of strong arm this woman or force her to disclose where she's keeping the assets. And then there's going to be like court docket cases coming after that. So first it's like the federal case here and um, he shows up there. <clears throat> there's a period of long deliberation where he has to basically wait. I see this as being like at least one, two years here while he's waiting to be um, charged and sentenced, uh, sentenced rather, sorry for the legal jumbling. And then what I see is that there'll be some sort of action regarding a woman who's keeping the money, the purse, uh, the eight of wands, She's going to be forced to hand over the money. And then we see like court cases coming through, uh, more court cases coming through for him. But beyond that, I can't see right now. It's like spirit wants to block that right now, but maybe we'll do another reading at another time regarding that. But so far I do see that he makes it to trial and um, it's not gonna be a short trial. It's not gonna conclude quickly with, within one year what I see at least um, according to these cards, is that there's going to be a long proceeding, long court case. And he's going to wait, wait. Um, and then finally, he's going to be sentenced and jailed. Forced to do time after the sentencing. I mean, he is jailed already, but he's going to be, um, you know, get a punishment handed down and then be sent back to jail with a submission card. And then what will happen is his riches will be located and the woman who's holding his uh, purse finances will have to give up these riches. And then there will be <clears throat> more court cases coming his way, probably civil court cases that are going to require him <clears throat> to respond and to pay back um, damages, financial damages. Okay, so that's what I see here. The Four of Wands is promising that we are going to see a court case with Diddy. He's not going to he's not going to be um, unalive before sentencing, at least. It seems like this will be a public spectacle. 
fantastic. I do see a download of his um, picture drawn by, you know, those court case people when somebody makes an appearance in court. Okay, so it seems like the media will have coverage of the situation going on while they're, they're taking testimony. Okay. Yeah, with the media card here as well. Definitely, and the strength shows that he is going to make it to trial. Okay, so that's what I see here. And I hope that this was informative. <clears throat> if you have any um, other questions, if you want me to do a part two, share your comments, let me know what else I could cover. This is just what I'm seeing for now. Um, I hope that you liked it. And please click like and subscribe. Take care. Bye.